<laughs> uh, so if anyone wants to follow our route to the castle, um, you may expect a bit of water on the way. When you were with us last, we were in for a big drive, taking us all the way from the top northeast of Scotland to Loch Ness. Dylan's cooking a pan seared duck. Um, well, with a side of asparagus. Yeah, with a side of asparagus. I don't think I'm going to turn it over. Might turn it over once. We'll see. No, I actually probably won't. Over the next couple of days, we stuck to some beaches, which felt all a bit too much like home. Um, so we just got recognised in Morrison's for the first time. That was super weird. But uh, thanks for approaching us, you guys. And um, sorry, for sorry for going bright red. <laughs> uh, yeah, and sorry for looking so shaggy. How you doing? Yeah, I need a shave. I guess we are putting ourselves on videos that are open to the world. And although, although you, you can't already know that, it's kind of weird that like, People are gonna, might recognise you. Yeah, across a little bit off guard, but you know, it's nice to meet people. So, yeah, um, new experiences everywhere. Morrison's. Straight through the roundabout. Yeah. Cheers to have uh, put this little parker spot in park for night. It's epic little views. All we need now is a couple of surfers out there. Or a couple of wetsuits. It'll be quite cool to see. You happy with the spot tigs? Pretty happy. Tig and I are off. off to get a glimpse of this castle. Slane's castle. So we left Nelly down there at our campus stop for the night and I'm gonna go <laughs> I'm gonna go have a look. Tegan isn't feeling the best right now so I think she's gonna suck it up so we can go have a look at it. The castle might be pretty shit. <laughs> it might be good as well. Never but, know. Never know. I think Nelly will be alright down there, eh? Over there. So I think if we walked straight. Just follow that path then. Yeah, if we walk. Yeah. Okay. Like usual, Tegan and I really do love going. Shortcuts. <laughs> love shortcuts. Short. We love shortcuts. And uh, making our own way there. Yeah, okay. Maybe we we'll just keep on the 4x4. Tegan's making the rope. When we pop out, we should put a little marker so we know when to turn left. Oh, do we? Yeah, do it. Oh, okay. Do it. <laughs> oh, Jesus. We've come across an interesting, come across an interesting point. We have to cross a little walkway. We still have to cross that rope, creek, Tegan. The dream's alive, Dylan. Um, safe to say that Tegan and I have hit an obstacle. <laughs> Just a small creek. So Haps takes. Here she goes. Uh, so if anyone wants to follow our route to the castle, um, you may expect a bit of water on the way. Here we go. I'm going for it. Need it. <laughs> Get in there, guys. Now. 
couple of floors. It's enormous. Are they up to Tegan? It's just the view from the bedroom. Yeah, but be up a little bit. Yeah, be up a little bit. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this place is massive. I think of ourselves in the daylight. Life's so sweet and melancholy, never the same as the same as Absolutely massive. So apparently, quite a lot of people get blown off the cliffs around here. Slane's Castle, which is also known as New Slane's Castle, due to the old run that got blown up by King James VI, is positioned on the coast of Cruden Bay. The build for the castle started in 1597 and finished expanding in 1836. In 1925, the owners eventually had to sell due to a money shortage where the new owners left the castle to sit in disrepair. Today the castle has a slightly unsettled feeling about it and it's understandable that this castle is said to be the inspiration for the home of Dracula. I saw my own shadow. <laughs> I thought it was a person. Oh, go on, it's free. Go down first, I'll do the lights for you. Sorry about the lights, guys. We cut cell phones, so. That's what we're looking at. Just keep the red on, it'll be easier. Is it too scary? It just keeps going. Unfortunately, we don't have a light with us, so we can't explore anymore. Taking us a little bit scared. I don't like just like when there's no camera, it's just faulty light. <laughs> I don't like that. So you guys can actually drive your vehicles right up and park here. So if you didn't want to do what Tegan and I did to walk here, just drive up. Nice and easy. We made it out. Takes. It's been 30 years. <laughs> <laughs> there was there was a moment there where it was completely black. Yeah, I don't like that. And now we're being blinded on a walk home. Yeah. Back to Nelly we go. When Tegan and I were down in the little cave part, uh, it was like I was trying to use the camera to figure out the lightness. And there's like something blocking the screen. So you like blocking the See like something blocking the thing. I get to like waving something in front of it. Try and block it. Freaky. Nothing good. I think the direction we're going is right into the sun so you can't see. 
Okay, excuses. Sorry guys, we're getting there. Oh. There she is. Hey team, so we are heading off to Aberdeen today. Um, it's Tegan's birthday, and to celebrate, we're gonna go to Yamcha. Um, Tegan loves Yamcha, so. And it's about to snow, apparently, we're gonna get an Arctic blast blizzard soon. Um, yeah. So, somewhere out here. Right there. Where? Oh, yeah. Um, there's a little penguin. As close as I can get zoomed in. Uh, so the toilet's quite nice. Do they? Yeah. Apparently the ones down at the harbour, so where we were staying, also have chemical toilet disposal. Do they? Well, maybe I think they're suited to house chemical toilet disposal, but unfortunately it's winter, so most things are closed right now. Which is a bugger. Yeah, that toilet was nice. I had a full size mirror in there, even as well, so I could check myself out. Okay, should we bring it up on the map? Where to go? The snow's getting aggressive. Apparently, the news in New Zealand saying it's going to be minus 15 in London from an Arctic blast. So, surely it must be colder in Scotland, prediction wise. Yeah. Also, Last night was really nice. I don't think that um, I don't think that the film would have done the colours justice of the sunset last night, but it was so crazy. We were very happy in our decision to eat at Aberdeen. Their plans were slowly dissolving as the weather started to turn on us. Bring my scarf. <laughs> Polystyrene bowls. <laughs> it's like legit polystyrene. Like it's so light and fluffy. Caught in your man button. <laughs> Look at the speakers. Like, um, so that was delicious and we're way too full. Um, and now covered in polystyrene balls. <laughs> um, and freezing, it's so cold today. Um, Got some goodies. Yeah. So if anyone wants some yum char and you're there in that Aberdeen Shire area. Manchurian. It's pretty good. You right? I'm so cold. Hey guys, uh, it just started snowing so bad and it's freezing. But we just uh, got some coffee and charged the laptop. Because um, we're not going to be at the campsite till tomorrow. Uh, yeah, I can't breathe. It's so cold. It's fully snowed up Nelly, but she started alright. Which is really good. Uh, right now we're just looking for a camp spot on the All Favourite app. Um, yeah. Hey guys, so yesterday was a bit crazy. Uh, there was an Amber Alert out and everywhere on the motorways it was saying don't drive tomorrow, don't drive tomorrow. And so we kind of thought, screw it, we'll drive. and drifting, communities have been cut off and roads have been blocked.